guys welcome back to my channel my name is sarah if you are new so as most of you probably know i cut my bangs back in october and i have not cut them since i'm actually trying to grow them out and it is quite the process i wasn't expecting it to take this long because usually my hair grows pretty fast but like i feel like my bang growing out process has just been so slow but that's why I'm here today. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my go-to hairstyles for grown out bangs. So I'd say about half of these are going to be how ways that I style them and then half of them are going to be ways that I hide them, if that makes sense. So my bangs are kind of at an awkward length right now. They are too long to style as normal bangs unless I really take my straightener and like curl them under and make them flip, then I can just barely get them below my eyebrows but um, they, they're too long basically to be normal bangs. They're almost like down here to my nose and they are too short to go behind my ears. So they're like this really awkward length right now. I'm trying to just like blend them into my hair for this video. That's kind of where my bangs are at right now. And before we get into the hairstyles, I'm just gonna show you guys kind of how I style them or at least like in the mornings what my typical routine is so I did post a wavy hair routine video a while back over the summer and although the products have changed my kind of routine is still the same I have been using a Amika thickening shampoo it's like called the 3d shampoo that I've been loving I feel like it actually does make my hair thicker I was having issues with like volume at the roots and I do think it is helping so that is lovely but what I do in the morning the next day or if my curls or waves are just like a little flat I'll take the spray bottle that I got on Amazon and I will link it down below for you guys and basically I just like re-wet my hair and it's been working wonders let me tell you so this has just been a lifesaver for me like re-wetting my hair and stuff and then just put more mousse in it if i need to and for my bangs i will typically use this little conair straightener the cutest little mini straightener in the world i will try to find this on amazon and link it down below as well it is perfect for bangs not so much for your like all over head of hair do you know how long this would take me to straighten my entire head of hair probably like five hours anyway let's go ahead and get into the hairstyles so first i'm going to show you guys how i style my grown out bangs the first one that i really love to do is to just blend it into my hair kind of like i'm doing right now actually but i'll do it like with a different part or just whatever part i'm feeling that day so i will just you know style my hair as i usually do usually like straighten my bangs style them and then I will just kind of use my fingers to blend it in with my natural hair. Sometimes it stays in my hair and sometimes it starts to get in my face and it gets a little annoying, but um, that has been working more recently over the past few weeks as my bangs have gotten a little bit longer. In some angles, it looks like it's just that I don't have bangs on my hair, it just kind of like continues and swoops down. So I've been loving that one. And then the next one is to pin them back on the sides. I just took two pieces of hair and wrapped them around the back and I used a really cute clip that I got from Marshalls. I'm pretty sure all the clips I used in this video are from Marshalls. Super inexpensive, so you could just use any clip you have or even bobby pins or a hair tie, but I absolutely love that look. I wore that look on Christmas um, just because I felt like it looked very elegant and fancy. I don't know. So the next one, pretty simple, it's just a braid. You could French braid it, Dutch braid it, whatever the heck you do, but just leave your bangs out. Um, I just did a normal braid down the back and I felt like it looked really cute. I did this a lot last semester at school and I always got compliments on it. I don't know if it looks fancier than it actually is, but it's literally just a braid and then I pulled out some pieces in the front. It's so easy, just literally braid your hair down the back and you're good to go. So the next one is just a high ponytail or a bun and then you leave the bangs out. This one is so cute, the high ponytail look I did for New Year's. I'll try to find a picture. Honestly, I don't think I took pictures on New Year's Eve. Anyway, I did that look. I wore my hair in like a high ponytail and pulled out the bangs and a couple pieces and it just looked so glamorous for some reason. But I've just been wearing that a lot recently. I feel like it looks really cute, especially with the grown out bangs look. That used to be one of my favorite hairstyles when my bangs were like normal length. 
um, but it also looks super cute with grown out bangs as well. So of course this hairstyle works with a bun as well as you can see in this little b-roll clip I'm playing over my voice right now. I just wrapped my hair around um, the ponytail. I wouldn't do this if I was actually wearing, you know, my hair in a bun like styled all day. I'd probably use a different hair tie, some bobby pins, you know, make sure it's secure. But I do think that is a really cute look as well. And then the next one I wore in a video recently. I've been loving this hairstyle. It is just taking two bobby pins and grabbing a little chunk of hair behind your bangs and then twisting it and pinning it and then doing the same on the other side. I feel like it looks really cute. It frames your face really nicely and it just is a really easy and quick look with bangs. You'd literally just go like boop, clip, boop, clip, and you're good to go. The next one is just to wear a headband but scoot it back a little bit so it's not pushing your bangs out of the way. It's kind of just resting right where they start and this look is so cute. I have been wearing this one recently and every time I wear it, I'm like, why do I not wear this more often? I feel like it just looks so cute. So like boho vibes, I guess, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to move on to the hairstyles for hiding your bangs. And I probably hide my bangs more days than not because I just want them out of my face, especially when I'm working or doing like my class, whatever it may be. So the first one that I do is just the bobby pins out of the face look. <laughs> it's super easy. I usually just start with my hair down the middle and then take a bobby pin, put it in one side, take a bobby pin, put it in the other side, and you're done. And it's not like, it doesn't stay the best, honestly. I have to adjust it like every hour probably, but it gets them out of the face and it looks kind of cute, I think. It looks like a little bit neat on top because of the middle part. The next one, super simple. Throw on a headband, get your bangs out of your face. I like doing this for the gym, doing that, putting my hair in a ponytail, or just whenever. It's so easy to just throw on a headband and forget you even had bangs in the first place. The next one that I do a lot is I take a little clip or accessory. This one in the video that I wore is from Marshalls as well. And I will just flip all my hair to one side so my part is kind of like a deep side part. And then I will twist it back and kind of pull my bangs back a little bit and just clip it. And it looks really cute. I feel like it looks really youthful. I used to wear my hair like this a lot in middle school. My mom really likes this hairstyle. She always says she likes it when I wear it like this. She probably because I look like I'm in middle school and I'm like so young again. But you can again use a bobby pin, use any clip you have lying around, and it's just a really easy, cute look and get some out of your face. So the next one, super simple. If your bangs are long enough, you can just throw your hair in a ponytail or a bun and forget about using a bobby pin. But for me, pieces tend to fall out sometimes. My bangs are like right on the verge of being long enough to be in a ponytail, so I will just throw it in a ponytail or a bun, bobby pin it, pull out a few pieces, you know, make it look cute. <laughs> this is really nice for just getting all of your hair out of your face and it sometimes leaves like a little tail in my ponytail, like you can see it's sticking up, but I don't mind too much. I can usually just take some water and like try to blend it into my hair. Really looking forward to the day where I can just throw my hair in a ponytail and not bobby pin it. That'll be amazing. And the last one is to just throw on a beanie. <laughs> Very simple, a beanie or a hat. I do this sometimes, especially if my hair is greasy and I'm due for a little hair wash day, I will just, you know, put my hair in a beanie and especially in the winter, you can like do this all the time and it'll just be normal. I wouldn't do this one so much in the summer, it might get a little hot in there, but um, yeah, just put on a beanie, put on a hat and call it a day. So those are all of the hairstyles I've been wearing recently. I have been getting comments like, do you regret cutting your bangs, all of this stuff? And honestly, I do not regret cutting them. I have been loving every stage of them so far since I cut them, like the growing out process has been really fun to figure out ways to just like style my bangs as they get a little longer. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. And of course you can try out these styles if you don't have bangs. I feel like they'll be really cute regardless. Um, you could just like have some pieces in the front. But yeah, that's just what I've been wearing recently and loving. Um, you can probably see a lot of those hairstyles on my Instagram. <laughs> Quick plug. Um, but make sure to follow me on my Instagram because I'm always posting new hairstyles, makeup looks, all of that fun stuff. 
But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure to check out all of my links down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.